I give you some coins so you can buy yourselves some. Whoa, we love you so much, Grandpa. The children will never learn to manage their money. Just a special test about how they can manage those few coins. Ruben, what do you intend to use coins that your grandpa gave you? Here a sweet sport by those coins. That sounds delicious, huh? Oh yes. I'll spend it on sweets too. Cool. What should I do with this money? Aha! I'll bet it with other children in card games. I'll be a rich man. That's a smart way to manage my money. Hey Alex, what have you used money to buy? No, no, Julia. I don't save it and wait the right moment to spend it. So now, my beloved children, could you tell us how you managed your money, Ruben? Clara and I spent a great month with sweets and I never forget the feelings when I ate them. Oh my dear kids, both you are too young to know how to well spend money. Next time Ruben and Clara should spend it in better way, okay? It's so wonderful to live in a sweet world, but I understand. We're sorry, Grandpa. We'll follow your suggestion. There's nothing to sorry about, my dears. You'll see. Now it's your turn, Monty. Oh, I suppose it could be a good way to spend those coins. But, I bet it with other children and had a lot of money at first. But then I was not being very careful. And I got involved in more and more risky deals. So I lost all the coins. I will never make any bet again. Poor my little child. But it's good for you to learn a good lesson about using money. Never forget this experience. Okay, Alex, how about you? I saved it, Grandpa. And at the end of the month, I bought sweets at a reduced price and I still had enough for a toy. Oh, Alex, I feel proud of you. You know how to save and how to wait. Reuben, Clara, and Monty, you need to learn what Alex did with his money. Yes, we promise, Grandpa. Wow, so it's not easy to spend money in a clever way, right, kids? How about you, Julia? Grandpa, I'm sorry that I can't tell you now. I'll make sure that my plan is a good one. Okay, it's up to you. I hope that it will happen as you said. As I promised you, today I'll reveal my secret. Here is a violin bought by those coins. That surprised Julia. How can? Well, I wish to be a violinist, but my family can't afford to pay for me to have lessons. Luckily, I got to know a poor violinist playing in the park, and I offered him all the coins our grandpa had given to me, if he would teach me how to play. Although it wasn't much money, the violinist agreed, and he taught me happily for months. After a year, the violinist lent me a violin so we could play together in the park as a duo. We were so successful that gradually, I managed to buy my own violin with quite a bit of money to spare. Julia? You don't let me down. I'm very excited to know your good story about how to manage money, just with a few coins well spent to make your wildest dream a reality. Alright, I hope that my beloved kids learn a good lesson through this experience. Cause and scratches feeding from the land.